Master Burn here, Comment 101. I want to do a review on a 2006 Master Splinter, or, well, it released in 2007, but it was made in 2006. This is based on a 2007 Team NT, and I love that movie. A lot of people are like, eh, you know, 50 50 on it, but, you know, I like it. It looks really cool. I like the graphics, the CGI, and everything. Splinter was cool. It's cool to assume that he was actually part of a movie that's actually fighting with the turtles. Um, as you may see already, is he's all plastic. Uh, his robe does not come off. I know there's a name for it, but I don't know what the name of the robe or his belt or that thing you know, that holds him on. See, you, know, you can see that with the light. Okay. So this is the only splinter that actually has to be the one of the tallest splinters compared to the other ones I will show you later. Um, the only rubber part of his whole face is really his, uh, his little chin. See that his little hair chin? And his little, I call it the monkey tail. That's the only rubber piece. Everything else is plastic. It's strong plastic. It hasn't broke yet. Thank God. Get, I get really angry and sad when I, every time my turtle toys break. Well, I only have it once because um, I've actually bought a turtle toy and it's really, like how to put it, overused from a kid and I bought it for, thank God, for a cheap price and then all of a sudden the label gone. And that disappoints me. But I love taking care of my toys. <laughs> so let's do early movements. I mean, you can't really do much with his head. As you can see, is that much, that much, so, can't really turn all the way, I found this at a thrift store, and, uh, it got it for, like, 87 cents, good price, I think, really good place, and, oh yeah, here's his movements for his arm, can't really do much, because his shoulder pad, as you can see, His elbow moves out, like that, and so does his hand. I don't have his his staff or anything with, like I said, I just found him just like this. Oh, and his feet, does that, goes out. See? Big old feet. And his, um, he can look to side to side, like this. Actually, he doesn't turn left at all. He just turns right, which I don't understand why he can't turn left. As you can see. Like, huh? No. So, uh, we're going to talk more about this. I'm going to show you the comparison. Oh, and his, his little monkey tail just actually moves in and moves out. Like that. And as you can see, there's can't look up Splinter's dress. So no peeking. <laughs> no, this piece right here does not move. That's not rubber. It's, like I said, it's all plastic. So, yeah. Here we go. So up, up and close. Alright, as you can see, we have an angry Master Splinter. I love the painting for this. I really do. I really, 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 really do. Brown eyes. Very good detail. Looks like a rat. Some people say it looks like a dog. I don't see it. Sure, it has this not come off. As you can see. And now you can't see in there. Like I said, everything's all plastic. Let's see. Let's see, 2006. Morgan Studio Playmates Toys. Made in China. This is his little rat tail. Alright, so now we have the 2007 right next to the 2012 and the 88 Master Splinter. And as you may say, as I will,
the Master Splinter of the Old School will always be the best one. My personal favorite. No matter what. And it's complete. Thank you. Okay. The other thing is, yes, dude, you are correct. He does look like a badger. As you can see, because this... As we already seen a TV show, the new Master Splinter is a young version. He's younger, I guess, I guess you could call it. Does not look like this whatsoever. So whoever painted this in Playmate Toys, you probably should make a Volume Two Master Splinter and like repaint it. I seen people who does um, costume or costume, whatever you want to call it, you know, repaint them. Fantastic job. Uh, I think yeah, uh, like, yeah, they really need to really work on his painting because he does not look like a rat right now. He looks like a badger. Um, as you can see, the 2007 is a lot taller than 2012, and he's a lot taller than the 88 Splinter. Uh, these two are the, considered the old school, like they're old, you know, like they're like an old, like old man, Master Splinter. As this one is, well, yeah. <laughs> Um, he has more of a detail than 2012, but it's still a good detail. I like how he looks and everything. As you can see. And also, they may look like he's a gray rat, which he's not. He's a brown rat. It's like this one. So, as you can see how we look. He has, uh, like, bandage on his head, on his legs, ankles. This one does too, but you really can't see. This one doesn't. And his feet are a lot wider than this one's. He looks, like I said, he looks more angry than this, this one. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm just... I don't know. I, that's, I, don't, I don't have no words to say for the 2012 Splinter um, paint. Uh, like I said before, the suit is very rubbery. Ah, you can look up his legs and his pants. Oh, no, his crotch. And this is, I guess, where this is where to get the idea of the little goatee chin hair thing as you can see uh, he has more of a cut right here get rid of this this is supposed to be based on uh, the movie version which he looks like he has both his ears if you get my drift and then of course Splinter right here has a bigger nose doesn't have a goatee and he has his uh, teeth that you can see like a rat and of course, this has more fabric than rubber or plastic. So with this one, you can't really lose anything with the mesh square because everything is already put in with the way it is. And let's see. As you can see, the tail, great little tail, like a rat. And this one looks like a monkey tail. And this one looks like a rat tail right there, as you can see. Very good. Very good. I really do like the guy who does the voice for Master Splinter in this one. Very good. But like, once again, you can't beat the original. Uh, so this one has five fingers. This one has four. And this one has five fingers. Let's see, three. Yeah, five fingers. Five, five, four. Splinter right here has more of an attitude, which I love his attitude in the new one. Don't ever screw with the Smash Splinter. Smart ass too and everything. It's perfect. He's it's just perfect how they made Splinter in this one. He does more fighting in it. So it's like training for the turtles and everything to start off to make him stronger. This one he's kinda chill, kinda like, lay back, kinda like. But he also fights and kicks some serious butt. And we well, we already know the story behind this one. As you can see, it looks like they're supposed to make his eyes, but they didn't want to paint it, so they painted it all white. This here is um the raw hardhead splinter. I will get out the other splinters if you want me to. I am a splinter fanatic. <laughs> Little, um, I cannot remember the name of that thing they wrapped around her waist. Seems like that. See, as you can see. And this one is a belt that comes off. I mean, some people, if you go to eBay or anywhere else, Splinter is always naked. I, I, you know, 
I don't know why Splinter just love to get naked people. All right, so that's my little review on Master Splinter 2006, which released in 2007. Tell me what you guys think. You know, out of, out of 2007 toys, I have to say Master Splinter was my top favorite one because I love how the detail and everything they made him, especially how large he looks and everything. I guess a lot of people thought the 2012 one would be exactly like Master Splinter, like you know, really tall. So, uh, which one of your Master Splinters do you prefer? You know, which one's your first? Which one's your second? Which one's your third? Oh, Master Spring I just showed you. Yeah, I say I get these. You know, these the 2012, uh, 2007 is one of my favorite ones. I like these ones. Look at him. He looks he looks completely awesome like this. Tell me um, your history behind it when you first saw it or when you first bought it. Uh, till next time, everyone. I'm sorry I'm talking all. I don't know what's wrong with my lips. <sighs> so, anyways, yeah. Take care of yourself, everyone, and happy hunting, everybody. See you later. All right, so I got a link from you, and you were telling me about this. So let's go check it out for an eBay villain. And here's what this guy is selling. He's selling the plus uh, 80 uh, Ninja Turtle toys, the classic ones. So good condition. Still had our tags. Here's the dude who's selling it with the red star, so apparently he's not doing a very good job at it. Um, here's what he's asking for. I think this guy is completely crazy, thief, and he's trying to steal everything. And, uh, let's see, um, and free shipping. So, put your comments. Tell me what you guys think. Is this good? Is it bad? If you think it's good, there's something seriously wrong here. So, uh, yeah, this, I, I think this is completely, um, this is, this is a theft thing right here. Report if you have to. I don't know what you want to do with this guy, but this guy is crazy.